Hello guys. This one shocko. Hmm. Nigerian court grants 100 million naira bill to 10 protesters accused of intimidating Tinubu. These protesters, when they say they won't take over government from Tinubu, so what did the general court don't do now? Not to <laughs> grant 10 million naira for one person. Where they won't see the money. So they want them, they want them to languish in the prison. Nigerians. The Federal High Court in Abuja has granted 10 million naira bill each to 10 protesters accused of intimidating President Bola Tinubu's administration by alleged, al allegedly attacking government infrastructure, among other charges, bringing the total bill to 10 million naira, to 100 million naira. The bill was granted by Justice Emeke Wate on September 11, 2024, the date earlier scheduled for the ruling. According to charge sheet read to Michael to to Boloba and nine others at the Federal High Court Abuja on September 2nd, 2024, the 10 Nigerians were accused of committing offense during the nationwide and bad uh, governance protest. In fact, they, they were charged with treason. Useless court then you grant or accept plea bargain for those who loot the treasure what is wrong protesting against bad governance? The judiciary should be another institution that should be looked into. We have corrupt people in the name of judges. This country needs divine intervention for the people to breathe. There is no established intimidation of Tinubu in this case. Protest is constitutional right of all citizenry. As said, protest was official given due given due notice time as means of corporate freedom okay of repression speech expressed in proper civilized arts or manner if courts validate such acts of expression intimidating tinubu let it a mind said that in issue as is tinubu a single entity or a state and a person of states of the federal uh, government of Nigeria presently, there is no case here intimidating but express cry of society. Seriously, how much do the court grant as bail to Boko Haram, the bandits, the airsmen, and kidnappers? That judge has already sentenced them to life imprisonment. How does he or she expect each of these hungry protesters to raise 10 million naira from? What is Nigerian uh, turning into? Just a few days ago, bandit killed 30 incident, 30 innocent people in a village in the north. In a swoop, any investigation, so it is the poor that are the vulnerable being pressed on every side now wow okay guys these are some reactions you know from nigerians it's really very sad really really very sad now nigerian court is now taking this matter personal you know saying they they intimidate they are they are they intimidate president bola tinubu as if president bola met tinubu na personal matter if they are protesting against the government, is it is it really President Bola Metinubu? If they are saying the government should end bad governance, is it just President Bola Metinubu? So why are they taking it personal that they they attack President Bola Metinubu because they ask you know the government to end bad governance? Hunger on the ground is on the land is too much. Well, Amnesty International has criticized the Federal High Court in Abuja for imposing what it described as a punitive bail conditions on the 10 and bad governance protesters facing treason charges. In a series of tweets posted today, the organization highlighted the stringent bail terms, which includes 10 million naira ban for each protester 
and the requirement to provide shorties with landed prop, uh, property. The bail conditions are clearly punitive. Harmonist International tweeted, expressing concern over the weaponization of such stringent requirements. The right group further called on Nigerian authorities to stop using restrictive bail conditions to arbitrarily detain activists and stiffen their right to peaceful assembly. The Nigerian authorities must end the wanton weaponization of stringent bill conditions to justify arbitrary detentions and excessively uh, restrict activities, right to freedom of peaceful assembly, the organization added. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. Honestly, where are we going to from here? What are they actually turning Nigeria into? What are they turning Nigeria into? Hmm. Are they drive on for you, my people? All these ones that just to make sure that they stop people who are speaking against the activities. They want to stop Nigerians to protest against the government. So this is intimidation. So it is even the government that is intimidating Nigerians, not the other way around. So sad. I beg, share this video where it go viral so Nigerians will understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.